Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Itai, and today I thought I'd go over a chess puzzle that Hikaru Nakamura did not manage to solve. Um, he's obviously one of the best puzzle solvers in the whole world, and so you know him not being able to solve a puzzle uh, is is rare, but it is inevitable um, as as puzzles get harder and harder. But the thing that makes this one unique is that after he couldn't solve it. Um, he took some time to think about the puzzle and, and he tried to figure out why the answer is not the answer that he thought it was. And even after thinking about it, he still did not find the solution and he still uh, was stumped. So that's what makes this puzzle so unique. Um, it, it really challenged him. And so I wanted to share with you guys, give you a chance to uh, solve it and, and, and go from there. So you're playing as white. Black just played the move bishop to f8. What's your continuation? So I'll give you some time to solve it. Take as much time as you need. You can pause the video uh, for extra time as well. And uh, now I'll go over the, the solution. But again, please pause the video. So the solution is, is pawn to b7. I'm sure that some of you guys got that, as did Hikaru Nakamura. I mean, the bishop was obviously guarding a very critical square. So now that the bishop's gone, you can obviously try to promote. Also notice that the rook cannot really come and stop the promotion because both of the pawns are stopping the rook from accessing uh, the important squares. And so the bishop is basically forced to come back to, to stop the promotion. Um, and so that's how the puzzle continues. Again, take some, some, some moments and try to figure out uh, what's your next move. Um, again, pause the video, but the real, the real solution here is knight to f5. Again, Hikaru didn't manage to see this. So far, it wasn't uh, too difficult. Now, the king has a couple of squares it can go to. In the puzzle, the, the king went back to d3, which is indeed uh, the best square, and it's a very tricky move, um, and you'll see why in the future. So, again, take take a moment, try to find the next move. Most of you guys probably get it in an instant. You just take the bishop, uh, threaten to promote. There's no good way to stop it, so rather than stopping it, black takes the pawn. And once again, for the final time, try to figure out the last move of this puzzle. So, I'm sure that a lot of you guys went ahead and said, let's promote to a queen. And Hikaru Nakamura did as well. That's what he did. And that is when he realized that, that he made an error and that his puzzle... Well, that's when, when the puzzle on chess.com said that he made a mistake. He didn't realize why. Um, and that's what I'm here to share. So this is not the right move. Instead, you need to underpromote to a rook. And let me show you why. If you promote to a queen, then black has a very sneaky move. Rook to e2. Check. Uh, king forced to d1. And then you have rook to b2. And so what's the point of this? Well, the point is to get the, the king onto a square where it's facing directly um, below the other king. And that's why a couple moves back, the king decided to go back here, right? So the king went back, so eventually they're faced. And so what does that mean? Well, after you promote to a queen um, and the king are faced, you have this beautiful uh, rook to b2 move. And the point is that you're threatening mate. So if they move the queen, I mean, anywhere, you obviously have mate, right? Because of the king. So they have to do something. If they take, this is stalemate. And that's why you cannot promote to a queen. If you had a rook here instead, once you took, it was not stalemate. So if we go back, if you promote to a, a rook in this position, then after this line, notice you can take and black still has um, some spots to go to. But if we go back, you might be thinking, okay, I get it. I can't move, uh, I, I can't move out of, out of uh, the, you know, that, that perimeter. Like, I can't move here, and also I can't take, but what if I go here? Now it's not going to be stalemate, um, but notice that after this, you're forced here. After this trade, this is a draw. You cannot force a mate with two knights. If black plays, if black uh, makes errors, then of course you can, but if they play the best chess, the best moves, you can't force a mate, which is why it's so critical that you under-promote to a rook, um, and, and now black really has no continuation. Once again, you can take here because uh, now, you, now black has some extra squares to go to. And from here, this is obviously a winning position. So I just thought this was a very challenging puzzle. I mean, it stumped Hikaru, definitely challenged all of us. So I definitely want to share. Make sure you guys do subscribe if you're new around here. And also go down to the comments right now and leave videos, ideas that you want to see. So openings that you want to learn, maybe traps that you, that you don't know yet, um, or games that you want me to analyze, maybe puzzles, whatever it is. Leave it down below and I'll, I'll, I'll sure to, to look at it and make a video about it soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.